I'm an overpacker <laughs> and I'm going to try and not bring all of these things because I don't really need all of these things, but let's start with toiletries. So this is my little toiletry bag. This is where I put all of my toiletries every time I travel. She's a little dirty. She's a little old. Whatever. We'll replace her one day. She's still good for now. Anyways, um, I try and think of like the order that I do my skincare and that's how I'm going to pack. For some reason, I get a little overwhelmed and I overthink it and then I overpack. So I'm going to start with these. These are the makeup erasers. They're the little ones. I actually like these better than the big ones, but these came in a pack from Costco with like seven of these or something and then one big one. And I'm going to take three of these because these are the best for removing your makeup. So I'm going to put those in there. I brought, um, oh, this little travel size facial cleanser, but I want to keep using my favorite. So I think I'm just going to bring my full size face wash, which is going to take up a lot of room, but whatever, because I really want to bring that one and my full size um, moisturizer because my skincare has just been um, treating me right. So I want to continue that. I don't want to switch it up just because I'm going on vacation, which makes me... Which reminds me that I forgot one thing. Hold on. Okay, I had to go run and grab my different gel. This is an every night product for me. This makes my skin look amazing. This is my favorite thing. Absolutely can't forget that. So I'm going to pack my different gel. It's pretty much it for my skincare. But I am going to throw in one of my favorite oils. Because my skin's been feeling a little dry lately. This is from Dermalogica. It's a Phyto Replenish Oil. And I know it's going to feel even more dry when I'm in Vegas because it's hot there. So my oil. Let's throw in my favorite deodorant. This is from Kosas. This is really good. Um, what else? Oh, my favorite toothpaste. I got a little travel size. David's. They actually sent that to me recently in a PR. So I'm going to bring that. I still need to get my toothbrush, but I'm going to leave that out because I need to use it tonight and in the morning. What else? Oh, um, shampoo and conditioner, which I actually read. Can you see there's like two different shampoos in here? Because I just added some more to this. I hope this doesn't open. Shampoo and conditioner because I hate using the shampoo and conditioner at the hotel. I also need to pack my hair oil, which is something I use every time I shower. Um, see, like I brought a mouthwash, but I never use mouthwash, but I always feel like I should, so I bring it, but it takes up so much space. I also already packed a deodorant, so I don't need that. You never know when you're gonna get something in your teeth, or, you know, maybe you should just floss daily. <laughs> so put those in there. Uh, I'm gonna put this little tanning daily moisturizer, which is actually like, cracked and it was like oozing out. I think that's why the bag is a little dirty over there. Okay, so this is my favorite facial tanner, but I was just going to pack it and look at all that stuff floating in there. What is that? What is that? I need to Google this because is that like worms or like bacteria or mold? What is that? It wasn't in there when I bought it. So, um, I want to bring this, but I'm afraid to spray it on my face now because what is that? This is really good, by the way. I love this so much, but what is that? <laughs> I'm going to put it there anyways because um, I'm going to Google it before I completely rule it out because you never know. I'm going to bring just a little disposable razor. I'm also going to bring this one. This is like an electric shaver. This is the Panasonic Wet Dry, which is so good for like when you just need to like quick, quick little shave, you know, just a quick shave and you don't want to get in the shower. This is really good, um, you know, for like a quick shave. I might have to put that in this bag though. Um. Okay, I'm not going to bring that. Okay, this is my little brush for my... Latisse. So where is my Latisse? See, I don't even know. Oh, there it is. Definitely going to bring my Latisse because that's part of my skincare routine. So put her, I'll put her over here in the corner. And this is extra stuff. I'm not going to bring that. I feel like I should. Will it close? Oh, 
oh yeah and then I think I'm gonna bring this oil for my legs so I can look sparkly where's the lid oh here's the lid so that's probably good right there I don't think I'm gonna bring all this stuff will it fit this is an Olaplex is like a bond perfector I don't know I just have a little bit left so I was gonna like use the rest of that maybe I do need a body wash but I'm okay using the hotel body wash so maybe I'll skip on this because it doesn't fit I'll just use the hotel body wash this is good I think this is good and this will close in here so um done with my toiletries Okay, so now I'm going to pack all my hair stuff and, like, some jewelry. These rings are cute, huh? So I'm going to bring a couple brushes. They're a little dirty. Just never mind that, okay? I'm a little ratchet. You probably are asking yourself, why two brushes that look exactly the same? They're not the same. They're two different brushes, and they both do two completely different things. This one, like, if you brush through your already styled hair, it's going to, like, fluff it up like revive it and then this one is obviously just for like good old hair brushing this one is for like after the shower you know so those three are important plus I'm going to bring a comb if I do any like ponytails or hairstyles and I'm going to bring this this is not for brushing my teeth it does have hair on it because I use it to like slick back my edges my little baby hairs gonna bring my favorite hairspray this one's really good I actually bought this last time I was in Vegas because I needed a hairspray last minute and this was the only one they sold in the little convenience store it's pretty expensive I think this is like oh it was 10 bucks that's not that bad but it's tiny but it's really good and it smells good so I'm gonna bring that also gonna bring a detangler and this is also a heat protectant so that's good uh, this is from IGK. It smells amazing. I really love IGK a lot. Um, also, I need that because my hair always gets so dry being in Vegas. I'm going to bring my little face washing brush, which should probably go in here, but I don't think it's going to fit in there. So it's going to go in this bag. Wow, I have like two toiletry bags. Is this excessive or what? I'm going for five days. so. And I'm going to put this. I already talked about this. I'm going to put this in here as well and then i'm just gonna bring i need like a cute little jewelry box if anyone wants to like sponsor me a little jewelry box so my shit doesn't get all tangled up let me know but <laughs> i'm just gonna put my jewelry in here i'm gonna bring all these rings because they are so cute these are from italo jewelry they're just so aren't those cute i'm gonna bring just a bunch of gold jewelry some gold earrings I like to wear gold earrings by the pool, especially when I'm not wearing makeup because it just kind of makes you look like that much better. So I'm going to bring my gold jewelry. I obviously prefer gold over silver. So I'm going to put all that in this little box. And then, oh, these are little, little plastic rubber bands for different hairstyles. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring these, but you know how like Y2K is back in style right now? I recently found all my old Juicy Couture bracelets. I'm sure every girl knows what this is because like pretty much every girl had one of these bracelets. I guess you can say this is like vintage, but I found these and I was like so happy because I thought I sold them, but I didn't. And maybe I'll bring those too. I don't know. Juicy Couture is back. She's back in style. But these are a little chunky, so I don't know. And I'll bring my little pearl beaded necklace that says Zoe. So that's the jewelry I'm going to bring. All right, so I'm going to use this bag. Benefit Cosmetics sent this to me a few years ago in PR. I use this every time I travel, obviously. It's so dirty, but I love it. You can also, like, hang it up, so that's nice. I'm pretty sure the zipper still works, so that's good. But let's see, I always pack, I try and pack everything, I guess, same thing with like my skincare in the order in which I use it. So I would obviously start, actually lately I've been starting with eyebrows, so I've been using this for my eyebrows, so I'm going to bring this, but I'm also going to bring 
Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And then this, which one is this? Taupe Trap. I'm gonna bring that for my brows. Let's see. Um, and then after brows, I would usually do eyeshadow. So let's bring this. And sometimes I use bronzer for eyeshadow, so we'll pack this right now, which is actually really cool, especially for traveling because it has bronzer, like a highlight blush, um, a blush and a highlighter all in one. And this is from Benefit, so there was a hula bronzer in there, so I love this. this they just sent this to me recently. Go get one, you need it. I'm gonna bring some setting powder, my favorite, which is Maybelline. I don't know, I see I'm an overpacker, but I'm gonna bring two foundations. This one's a little bit darker because I do plan on getting a tan. And this one, I just, it's so comfortable on my face. It doesn't get like dry or cakey. It just feels really nice, but it is dewy, so I'm worried about wearing this one in 120 degree weather because it might look a little too dewy. So that's why I'm going to bring this one also. I'm also going to bring two primers. I love the all-nighter primer because my makeup seriously clings to my face with this one. But this one is really great too because it's hydrating and it's going to be very hot um, there. So my face is going to be super dry. And then I'm going to bring my favorite setting spray, which is the Urban Decay All-Nighter Setting Spray. I'm also going to bring a little mirror because you need a handheld mirror sometimes when you're doing your makeup in Vegas. I don't like to do my makeup in the bathroom. I like to do it in front of the window with the natural lighting, so I always use a little handheld mirror, which there is one in here too, but sometimes this is just more comfortable. And look how cute it is. So cute. I'm going to bring some eyeliner. I'm bringing this one specifically. This is from Velour. It's like an eyeliner slash lash glue but it dries completely and it doesn't transfer on my hooded eyes. So I'm gonna need this, especially cause I'm gonna be sweating. I'm gonna bring a little travel size of my favorite mascara, Benefit Roller Lash. And then I'm gonna bring my lash tools. I'm just gonna bring one lip liner because all my favorite like lipsticks and lip liners are actually in my purse right now. So I'm just gonna bring one. I need to pack some lashes, so I'm gonna set this aside for now. Of course, I'm gonna bring a sharpener. Ooh, she's dirty. And then a lash glue. I'm also gonna bring a beauty blender, which it looks dirty, it's just stained. Uh, I feel like, I feel like I might wanna switch it up. I haven't used a beauty blender in a long time, but I'm gonna bring one. And I'm also gonna bring my brushes. These are all my like, everyday go-to brushes so I'm gonna pack all those and an eyelash curler and for lashes I mentioned this in almost every single one of my makeup tutorials but I reuse my lashes so I'm gonna pick out my favorites from this pile and throw them in this um, lash box right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I know you can't tell what these look like they look like spiders or bugs but I settled on the lashes that I'm going with. So I'll just throw these in there. I'm gonna put everything away and then we'll move on to the grand finale, which is, actually it's not, but we'll move on to clothes. And in case you're wondering, this is what all my makeup looks like packed away in this bag. Yes, it does fit and I didn't overstuff it. So <laughs> yay. All right, this is like a carry-on size bag. This is all I need. This is gonna fit plenty. This is gonna fit too much, I already know it. And I'm trying not to overpack. okay? There's a lot of clothes up here that I think I need already. I'm trying not to overdo it, so fingers crossed. I'm gonna start with a pair of black leggings because like, you know, we always need some black leggings. So we're gonna put some black leggings. Also a pair of cut off jean shorts because that's like a must have what else i'm also gonna bring a pair of jeans because you never know you know maybe i want to wear these to dinner or something so i'm gonna bring a pair of jeans 
And then I just bought a bunch of new clothes from Forever 21. If you want to see any of these pieces on, by the way, you can go to my last um, try-on hauls, vacation try-on haul. So I'm going to grab from this pile first because these are basically like outfits. I'm definitely going to bring this. This is a little dress, believe it or not. So I'm going to bring that. I'll fold that in a minute. I'm also going to bring these little shorts because these are cute and casual, but they look a little nicer than like jean shorts. And I think I'll bring this long like midi dress. I actually might not because I don't know. Maybe I will. I'm going to bring this midi dress. What else? I'm going to bring a romper. Honestly, like this is going to be enough clothes right here. A romper. I'm going to bring this little tube top. And what is this? Oh, yeah. My little, my little, this is like a play suit romper. I know it doesn't even do it justice, but I'm going to bring that too. I'm going to fold these so they fit better. This is also like a jumpsuit pants type of deal. Like I said, if you want to see all of these pieces that I'm pulling out of this bag, they're all in my last try on haul video. So definitely go there. I'm going to bring that. I like like rompers and jumpsuits and dresses because they are literally an outfit and I don't have to like pull a bunch of pieces I can literally just throw on one thing and I have an outfit bada boom bada bang good to go um not bringing that not bringing that I think I'll bring these pants so like big I don't know gaucho pants kind of they're like big huge wide leg pants they're so comfortable maybe like when I go to the pool I have a brown bikini so I could wear this bikini under these pants and wear this to the pool perhaps and then I am gonna bring these shoes this is trash what is this oh um Here's my other Adidas. Oh, okay. That's not bringing any of that. I'm going to bring this, these shoes. And these shoes. I'm going to bring these shoes. I'll show you these in a second. Also, all these shoes are also in my try on haul. And I'm going to bring these bags how cute is this one i'm obsessed this is so cute and i love this with like my nude nails i'll probably wear this with this dress because that's just super cute i'm already packing too much i told you i'm only going for five days i know i'll change my outfits multiple times a day depending on what we're doing but um that's probably good i'm gonna bring this and another pair of pants i think this is what i'm gonna wear like coming in just like a cute comfortable outfit i don't really want to wear sweats but i also don't want to be like too fancy because i'm going to be sitting in the car for four hours because we're driving there from california so i'm gonna set this aside because that's gonna be my outfit for tomorrow also <laughs> I'm going with my mom and Zoe for my mom's 60th birthday. My mom bought us all these pants. These are actually from Costco. They're super cute. Another like wide leg, just really cute, casual pant. I'm going to wear it with this little crop top. I sell these tops in my boutique, by the way. These are the Cora tops. <gasps> Did I get it dirty? Or is it just dust? What? Oh no, I did get it dirty. Um, I'm gonna have to clean that. Oh my god, that makes me so sad. Anyways, um, I sell these tops. I have a bunch of colors. I think there's seven different colors. I kept a few for myself. Can't help it. But I am gonna bring this to wear with these pants. And we all have matching pants, so we're gonna be like little matching triplets. It's gonna be so cute. Definitely will bring a lint roller. And I just realized there's like a bug stuck to my lint roller poor little guy poor little guy anyways i'm going to bring that as well let's so we go over here i also got these uggs these are 
so cute. They're like platform slides. They're fuzzy. These are adorable. I'm definitely going to bring these with me because you never know. So cute. Okay, so currently I'm trying on different outfits that I think are going to be like little vacation outfits, whether it's like casual like this one or like my dresses and stuff. And I'm literally putting on the shoes that I would wear with them and holding the bag that I would wear with them. Um, and I'm taking a bunch of photos so that I can have a little photo album of all of my different like outfit choices and stuff so that I'm not like scrambling trying to put pieces together at the last minute. I know this is a little bit time consuming, but um, I've never tried this before and I got this tip from Delaney's Child when I was watching one of her videos. So I thought that was a really great idea and I'm trying it out this time. So that's what I'm currently doing. And then after I take off each piece, I fold it and I put it in the bag. And it's really helping me like eliminate a bunch of stuff <laughs> that I don't need to bring. All right, so I've got all my clothes packed away. The stuff on top is just like big t-shirts because I like to sleep in big t-shirts. And then some little shorts, obviously. I put my purses in here. This is looking very nice and neat, which is surprising for me. Um, why am I bringing three purses, you ask? I don't know, but I feel like I need three purses. So actually I'm bringing one, two, three, four. <laughs> Someone stop me. Someone stop me. Okay, maybe I shouldn't because I was going to bring that Gucci bag, this little backpack. But, and then I was also going to bring this Gucci bag. But I don't need to bring that many Gucci bags, right? Maybe I'll bring this one too, but oh my god. I'm, I'm thinking out loud, first of all, and I'm going overboard with the bag. So we'll see. I just forgot I forgot I forgot I just forgot I forgot oh my god <sighs> I'm getting a little flustered you know when you need to take a break from whatever you're doing and you don't um that's the point I'm at right now anyways I'm gonna put all my chonies in here and my socks and bathing suits and stuff so let's hope they all fit okay so trying on all the pieces and taking photos of each like potential outfit before packing it really helped me to be more organized and to not almost not overpack because there was like all this other stuff that I was going to bring that I'm not going to bring because it's just too much and I don't like it so um yeah even though that like made packing take so much longer because I was like literally trying on everything and taking photos of it it did help me and look how nice and organized everything is so I should be able to shove everything in here the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is my shoes so I might have to have like a backpack also which I'm a little bummed because I was really hoping that everything would fit in here but I cannot go on vacation and not have like a ton of options if you're the same way let me know in the comment section down below but I need to have options and I have to bring like all the necessities so just me I'm a little disappointed in myself. I thought I was going to be able to get everything into this bag, but I really just don't want to be shoving stuff. So I am going to bust out the Jansport and bring like my makeup bag and probably the shoes in here as well. I don't know why I want to bring so much shit, but I just do. I can't help it. I do. So I'm going to put stuff in this Jansport as well, and I'm going to try and just keep it to just this stuff. Wish me luck. Okay, I realized that I started packing that last bag, the backpack, and then just completely stopped filming. I ended up getting everything into um, this bag and that little backpack, and I have one other <laughs> purse that has my um, laptop and iPad for Zoe and stuff. So I have three bags total, one suitcase, one backpack, and one like large tote purse. I feel a little overpacked, but what's new? Um, I'm out of breath because I'm like loading the car right now. And I would show you my other two bags, but they're already in the car. And I just remembered that I totally spaced on filming the end of the video. So anyways, you guys definitely saw the majority of it. Um, maybe when I get to the hotel, I will show you the other two bags if I remember. If not, this is where the video ends. And thank you so much for watching. 
uh, I hope you enjoyed this little packing with me video. Um, what else? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!